Hello there and welcome to my channel. Hello there and welcome to my channel. My name is Lois for those of you who don't know me. If it's your first time here then warm, warm welcome to you and warm welcome to my LWL crew. And Tig says welcome too. Just the words of welcome is welcome around. Yep, yep, yep. Woke up from her slumber, guys, she's been sleeping all afternoon and I don't blame her. The weather is glorious. It's lovely and warm and sunny. So um, I'm having a good day on the whole because the weather is beautiful. So um, guys, today I have got a home bargain haul for you. And it's kind of like um, a kind of a bit of a top up haul on some new spring products, cleaning household, that kind of thing. But guys, I thought I'd show you what I got. So before we get into it, if you like that kind of thing in terms of hauls and um, lifestyle, all that kind of jazz, then I am your girl. Don't forget to click and subscribe. So guys, let me show you candle of the day. My candle of the day is a pretty nice smelling one. And it's light and airy and really fitting for the season that's coming up. This one is called um wedding day and um it's just a beautiful beautiful lovely airy elegant smell really really nice so that is my candle of the day fitting for the weather nice and airy and bright perfect weather for a wedding day yeah there we go any excuse to burn a wedding day candle any excuse so Let's get into it, guys. So, the first thing I want to show you guys, do you remember uh, a few weeks ago I, sh I talked to you about, and I oh, well, I talked to you and I showed you some of the Rio de Janeiro dupes that Home Bargains are doing? Well, at the time, when I spoke to you, I showed you the creams, the Boom Boom creams and all different types of ones that they've got. And I know some of you have been trying to get it online, and I hope you've been all right getting it online or even in store. Hope you've been all right. But do you know they had the sprays to match? I'm telling you. Guys, I got, my, got hold of two of the sprays. And um, I'm actually quite glad that I got hold of the two that I liked. Um, because as I said to you, I bought the three creams not knowing what all three of them would smell like. And I like two out of three the most. And the two out of three are, are the sprays that I've got. So... The first one I've got, hold on, <laughs> let me show it to you. The first one I picked up is this one. It's the Glow Perfume Mist, and that's the spray. Now, if you're sort of going to pick up the spray for the Rio de Janeiro, they are not this big, and they cost about 20-odd quid. This one came in at, I think it was 3 99 or 4 99 for this size, and this one you're getting 250 mil. So you're getting quite a good size. And this one is actually the vanilla, almond, and salted caramel. Now, this is probably the most popular of the um, Rio de Janeiro scents. And this is the, this is the dupe, the, the lightness of it. Um, but, yeah, I do like it, especially when you're sort of creaming and you're layering with your spray. That is lovely. So I got that from Home Bargains. The second one I picked up as well was the Cherry Bomb and Jasmine Blooms. Now, this one is nice this is one of my favorites of it and i do have the originals but i was really pleased to get a hold of these dupes and you're getting such a big size spray as well i, I want to spray it guys but i can't because it's cat central in here right now cat central i've got tig's here i've got diego up there i don't know why it's under the camera literally under the camera and i've got lucy over that away somewhere thinking that the radiator is on but the radio is not on. the radiator is not on why would the radiator be on it's hot well it's not hot it's it's um nice and warm and cozy yeah it's warm but she thinks the heat is on i don't know because guys probably by this time tonight i'll be turning the heat on anyway so i don't know she probably thinks it's on but i don't know what she's waiting for but anyway that is the spray and this one as i said is a cherry bomb and jasmine bloom again lovely so i am so chuffed to get hold of the sprays like i said um i'm not sure if they've got anything else in the range in terms of the rio de janeiro's but they have got a lot of different dupes of all kinds of retinol and creams and different bits and pieces but i was only after the rio de janeiro type so yeah got hold of the sprays right moving on forwards in terms of bits that i picked up 
picked up this um, Imperial Leather and it's um, Muscle Recovery Bath Soap and I love the sound of it. It's bergamot and sea salt. So loving that. That came in at about £1.99 for that one. But um, it's a good, good size. You're talking about 850 mils of a bath soap. And this to me, I know I say it all the time, guys, but you see, I've got a thing about hotel smells. Well, this is, this is like a hotel smell for me. That kind of like spa, that spa soap. But this is really nice, especially, I think it's probably the bergamot, the bergamot and the sea salt. That's kind of got your spa-like kind of effect. So imagine lining a bath soaking to that. So that's from Imperial Leather. And I do actually like Imperial Leather. I think it's because it's a brand that I've grown up with. My mum and, um, you know, my parents used to buy Imperial Leather soap. Do you remember the soap? <laughs> that's what we grew up on, Imperial Leather soap, mate. If you never had Imperial Leather soap, you weren't washing. So, yeah, loving that. Also picked up some luxury hand wash. And this is Ashton Moore. Now, I do like the Ashton Moore brand. And to be honest with you, I don't really pick up um, hand wash from any other store, really. I always get my hand washes now from Home Bargains. But the only thing, as I will say to you, and I've said it before, guys, with the Ashton and Moore, you'll see it today and you'll go back next week and you won't see the same one. It's always different. They've got the um, the grey one, the pink one, the see-through one, like the brown bottle one, and they've got this one. And they've got some other ones that I've tested all throughout the last few years but um this one is your english pear and freesia and is so fitting it looks like a body shop kind of dupe as well actually and that's one thing these these ones do look like body shops because i've seen quite a few but um i haven't been disappointed by any of their hand washes at all yet let me have a quick sniff of this one because it's like a sniff without disturbing these cats do you know what i mean oh my days Oh my, guys, this is so, I think it's the pear, but it doesn't smell like you're a fruit. It smells like a perfumed kind of fruit, but this is lovely. English pear and freesia. Guys, definitely check that one out if you can, because I love to, I love to wash my hands with things that smell nice. Do you know what I mean? It makes you want to wash your hands even more, like just keep washing it for no reason. <laughs> but loving that. I'm definitely going to get next one of those. I do love that because I want to see me through. The, the summer, but then knowing Ashton and Moore, going there in three months' time, you won't find this. You'll probably find something else completely different for the summer season. So, yeah, loving that. That came in at one ninety nine for that one. Also, as you know, we are... Oh, let me just show you this before I move on to that. Also picked up my Dove Soap Pack. Now, I'm loving the Dove, the pink one. This one, does it say? It doesn't, it doesn't give you, like, a um, scent, but it is Dove Pink. So you've got the original and you've got Dove Pink for soft, smooth skin and it's moisturising. I do love, I, guys, I like to double wash. I, I, I do, I like to double wash. I like to wash with my soap and then I like to go in with my bubble bath stuff afterwards. But yeah, I do love that. This in here, you've got a pack of um, six times 90 bars. So that will last a little while. So loving that. Uh, also, what did I pick up, guys? Moving on to washing. Now, I've got to, I've got to tell you, as you guys know, I've been stuck on using the Lenore and Mrs. Hinch Winter Wonderland for the longest time, and I finally, you'll be proud of me. Your girls finally moved across to some summer scents. Now, this is one of my favourite trees. I used to always call it the pink tree when I was a little girl, and I have no idea that it was called the blossom tree. And now I know, in my big old age, it's called a blossom tree. But I'm loving the scent. Of it, this one is the Lenore, and it's a Lenore Wellbeing Collection Serenity, and it's cherry blossom and rose water, and that's your conditioner, and you get fifty washes out of this. This came in at about three fifty for this one, but I am loving it. Now it says fifty washes. Your girl's gonna get twenty five. Who just got time for caps? I'm poor. I'm a pourer, guys. We've talked about this before. We pour stuff. We don't cap around here, mate. We pour it. Loving this. It smells, let me just have another, it smells so gorgeous. It really, really does. I mean, they've got so many cherry blossoms, um, different things out now. You've got like the, you know, gel liquid, you've got the conditioners, you've got the incense boosters. And talking about incense boosters, guys, that's your Lenore. And I also bought this one as well to go with it. That's the Incense Boosters. Now, the Incense Boosters, they came in at about £3 for this one. Um, but I've also bought a bigger one as well, 
which that one, I, I think Sainsbury's doing that now, the big one. They've got a deal. If you've got a Nectar card, they've got a deal for a fiver for the big, big one. But I also bought the small one as well because I like it so much. But this one, little one, is £3, I think, roughly. Um, 3 three fifty. But like I said, you can get the big size in Sainsbury with the Nectar card for fiver. So this one is Cherry Blossom and Rose Water. And again, in St. Boosters. Now, guys, I've realised I've been using this all wrong, you know, all wrong. I used to think to myself, oh, you chuck it in, in the machine and... Yeah. What I've found, if you, if you overuse it, it just kind of goes a bit mad with the scent. But if you only put, like, maybe, I don't know, 10, 15 pellets in there, it's, it, it works better. I think because it probably infuses better and it's not overpowering. But I, or maybe I've just been using the ones that I couldn't smell before. I don't know. But when I don't, when I use this one, I don't put a lot in there. I put about 10, 15 pellets in there. And um, yeah, loving this. And your clothes smell so lovely. Because I've used my £5 one that I bought from um, Sainsbury's. And that's why I got another one. I really, oh, I like it. And I'm, I'm hoping to try them out together to see what scent. Because I haven't tried it before with this one. But I'm hoping the scents, I mean, if they, they match, they should smell really nice, shouldn't they? I would have thought so. But anyway, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, picked up some flash dust magnets. Now, I have run out of these ones, so I've picked up another one. And I do like this just to dust around really quickly and sort of to, to get in between those awkward areas. So, yeah, picked up one of those. Apparently, it's the limited edition. It's been, yeah, it is limited, Tiggs. Yes, it is. Okay, you might fall off your box, mate. Yeah, you're going to fall off. Look, look, I ain't catching you. Shut up, whatever. <laughs> no, whatever. Yeah, this is limited edition, but I've seen this out for about a year now. But I do like the pink one of it anyway. So, yeah, picked up that. And also, talking about flash. Now, this, I have been searching high and low for this. I have been searching for a long time for this bicarb of soda flash spray because what i'm trying to do i'm trying to cut down on the volume of different sprays that i'm using i really want to just use one like the bathroom spray is the bathroom spray and that was it yeah and then the kitchen and anywhere else you want to do around the home i want one spray for that so i think it's going to be um this spray of choice now the fact that i i like eu eucalyptus so much this has got the um eucalyptus scent to it so i'm hoping that i'm going to really get on with this one but it's been so hard to get hold of guys i've been searching high and low for the the, the bicarb solder version and I finally got hold of it. It's coming about £3.50 for this one. But um, yeah, I'm hoping they'll be more cost effective because if I'm not using lots of different things all over the place and I'm just using the one, then it should really be cost effective in terms of using it kind of everywhere downstairs um, to kind of dust and keep the place clean. So yeah, bought myself some sponges for washing. Um, like to use this when I'm washing um, like my, at my air fryer because this really enables you to sort of get within the grease and everything like that and kind of really give it a good wash and scrub and everything so got myself a pack of those and last but not least guys I am on the hunt for the ultimate bin liner well bin bag should I say these bin bags I bought a pack of 50 and this is about three pounds I think it was because they are the heavy duty ones now I am still on the hunt the other day I bought some bags from Poundland and oh, guys I lift <laughs> I was packing some stuff in there, yeah? I was packing some things, just doing a bit of a throw out. Put everything in the bag. When the bag, the bag was when the bag was finally full, lifted it, everything dropped out the bottom. Oh, like, what the heck? So I am on the search for ultimate... I'm sorry, Diego, I frightened him. <laughs> I'm on the hunt for the ultimate black bag. But I think the, probably the knack of it is probably not fulling them up too much. I get a bit carried away and I fold them up a bit too much, but... Um, yeah, I'm hoping that this will be good for, especially when you're doing more of a, a chuck out, because at the moment I'm really sort of going through the house like a fine tooth comb, getting rid of things, decluttering what I don't need, you know, sending things to a different home. Some things will be going on. Yes, Tiggs. You're right there. Okay, cool. Some things will be going on vintage. Some things will be going to the charity shops. Some, some things will be going in the bin. Some things will be just being given away to people and that's kind of where I'm at that point now I don't know why but I'm kind of at that point now where I just I just need to declutter I just <clears throat> I don't do this kind of well, I don't have this feeling very often but at the moment I'm just about decluttering if, if it don't make sense move it on 
If it don't make sense, move it on. I don't know if you guys are like that, but yeah, I am. But anyway, let's not go on. But I'm in search for the ultimate black bag. But I think these might be pretty good, hopefully. It says heavy duty anyway. So let's see how we go. But guys, that's my home bargains haul. Hope you enjoyed it and, in, and you know, saw some things that you might, you know, consider using. But um, yeah, I'm really chuffed about my instant boosters. I'm really going to try them out because, um, guys, you just like to have lovely, fresh smelling clothes hanging on the line or whatever. I mean, why are you not going to use tumble dryer this time of year, are you? No, put them outside or put them on, on you know, on your area or whatever. But anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you. I've been talking a lot. So I will see you guys on my very next video. Uh, don't forget to click and subscribe. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you all real soon on the very next video. Take care, guys. Bye. You say bye, Tiggs? That's her way of saying,